one of the greatest shows ever in Las Vegas, Jersey Boys, and, and, and they've moved. You guys yes. have moved. Devin, Devin and Graham, um, uh, and De you, you play uh, Tommy DeVito, who yes. we'll talk about in, in a minute, and, and you're Frankie Valli. Kind of look like him. Yeah, a little bit. And I'm from Jersey, too. Can you believe it? Are you really? Yeah. What part of Jersey are you from? South Jersey. So, which we always make a distinction City. down there. It's like a different yeah. state. <laughs> like uh, near Atlantic City? About better? 40 minutes west of Atlantic City. 40 minutes of Camden. <laughs> uh, no, not as far uh, west as Camden. Cherry Hill. South of Cherry Hill. Hey, aren't you yeah. impressed with my knowledge of South uh, It's pretty Jersey? good, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been doing a little touring around in there? I have. Like, Grew up in Philadelphia. Some summers in the yeah. Jersey. Oh, all right. Yeah. Is Very it, nice. Is it a bad thing to be from Camden? You just you kind of got really defensive. It is. Like, oh, yeah, wow. I think at one point they had like the highest per capita murder rate in the country yeah. or something. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to make a wrong turn and end up in Camden. <laughs> but it sounds so nice. <laughs> Camden. Camden. <laughs> so you guys are at the Paris now, right? You moved from the Palazzo to the, uh, to the Paris. That's right. Um, the whole, is, is, but the stage is bigger, yeah, it's right? A it's a whole, whole it's bigger, a whole different, whole different ball thing. of wax. Yeah. I mean, the Paris had a, a beautiful theater there, mm. right? I mean, it's really a nice uh, facility. It's, it's a wonderful showroom. We uh, we like to say that this is this is our, our rock and roll stage because it's um, it's a lot wider. It's the size of a regulation basketball court right. uh, without the proscenium that we have built on there. But uh, it's a lot wider and it's a lot it's a lot shallower as far the house is a lot shallower so you just feel like you're right on top of the guests you're right on top of the people and that they're right on top of you and it just feels more intimate even though it's a bigger space right uh, it feels a lot more intimate yeah, there's not a bad seat anywhere in, the I in that so. in that nope. showroom it's, yeah. it's real no, nice. I've, I've watched the show from a couple couple different seats in the house uh, even all the way in the back and it's, right. uh, it's fantastic Right. So when you say it, it's wider, like uh, like a basketball court, mm -hmm. uh, does that impact the performance at all? Well, I feel like for us as performers it does, but I feel like for anyone who had seen the show before it would be almost imperceptible. Everything's right. just sort of stretched out a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, we respaced everything, so for us who have done the show for a long time and are used to uh, maybe Tommy is right here, now he's right here, mm -hmm. and so right. that affects us, but the audience... So do you make, do you make mistakes? It. You misstep when you're... Uh -huh. We did it first. Yeah, yeah, we have most definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're cruising now, though. You're cruising mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, we have we have a little uh, video montage of uh, you know some of the great numbers in Jersey Boys. Let's take a quick look. Let it roll. You're from my neighborhood. You got three ways out. You could join the army. You could get mobbed up, or you could become a star. Is that Jersey accent uh, natural for you? Actually, no. Uh, even growing up only two hours south of the Jersey of Jersey Boys, uh -huh. Newark, uh, it's um, a, a completely different accent down south. They're more of a Philadelphia accent. Right. So, so it was a learning curve for me for that as well. Mm -hmm. And um, talk to me about, a little bit about Frankie Valley. Um, when, when you're playing his character, what, what's in your mind about your feelings about his life? Ooh, well, uh, I think one of the first things you learn as an actor is never to judge the character you're playing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I try not to pass judgment on anything that may happen in the show, uh, like all the characters in the show. Um, like all of us in life, uh, there are a lot of mistakes he makes along the way. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, it really is a journey to go on. I mean, he starts at 16 in the show and ends up 
present day, so uh, there's a whole aging process that goes on, and um, it was uh, it was intimidating at first. I mean, I'm portraying one of Pop's legends, so. Mm -hmm. uh, but Frankie couldn't have been more gracious when I met him and got to speak to him a little bit, and uh, it's uh, it's challenging but incredibly rewarding. Yeah, it's got to be strange for him to have you know so many people playing him. Uh, I can't imagine right. what that must be like to sit and watch your life on stage, the good parts yeah, and the bad yeah. parts. And what was the relationship between uh, Tommy DeVito and and uh, Frankie Valli? Well, it was it was one of a mentor of a you know of a big brother, if you will. Um, and 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 it soured, you know. It soured because of, you know, what 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 occurred in both of their lives and where they wanted uh, to go together. But uh, you know, Tommy just couldn't get out of out of his ways and couldn't get out of you know the uh, the neighborhood. Really, mm -hmm. couldn't mentally get out of the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. So did anybody make any real money at you know in the Four Seasons days? Uh, make any real money? Well, you know, if you think about if you think about inflation, yeah. I mean, you know, if they sold a hundred million records, how many, how many mm -hmm. thousands of records did they sell, of Sherry? Oh, I, actually, like, I, don't, like, I wish I had I that number in my yeah, head. Yeah, I don't know. The but, exact but you know, you, those those forty fives are what a dollar ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. Yeah. So I mean, you, you got to think, what would you know, what would that buy back then? It would buy quite a bit. I mean, you know, gosh, I think a a, a movie was a, a dollar seventy five cents or a, a buck. Right. Well, whatever it was then, yeah. I mean, it's actually. The industry probably makes less money today, right? On it because of all the internet. And sure, going on oh, yeah. downloads. Yeah, get a song yeah. for ninety-nine cents now. Yeah, but then again, you have to think about it. Think about the music industry now. People don't even need to go to record companies or record labels at all. They can they can just do an online. I mean, because I know that you you have you have a band going. I do. And and mm -hmm. and I know that they're with a label, aren't you? With a label? Yeah. We're yeah, I'm not going to say the label, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of uh, on the internet. There's a lot of self-producing uh, or self-publishing, uh, you know, bands fans that uh, have their entire following on the internet. So, right. so who knows, it's all kind of a, a jumble. But yeah, those guys made money. They made yeah. lots of money. Um, uh, and some of them blew through the money, like Tommy. So right. they, but, uh, but other people, like Frankie, I know Frankie is just, he's never stopped working. Yeah, since, since that time. Tommy, Tom, yeah, Frankie still works, still performs. Uh, he what, can't quit. I have a buddy who's, who's one of his new four seasons right now, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he does something like 70, 80 concerts a year. 400 seasons, more like. You're right. <laughs> Frankie in the 400 seasons. I like that. <laughs> He's uh, all around the world. They're doing a gig right now in uh, Australia. Yeah. How, how many songs did the Four Seasons really uh, release? I mean, a lot of them, right? Oh, oh gosh. a ton. I mean, too many even to fit into this show. I, I like. There's a little. Um, uh, I'm not sure if it's in our program. There is. Um, there is. Yeah. There is a program. The back page it says songs we we wanted to include but couldn't. Right. Yeah. The and ones that got away. Yeah. The ones. Exactly. There's like 30 of them or 40 of them. Yeah. Right? Like hit, hit songs that, that you know. There's. 30 some songs in this show and then they still couldn't pack in all the hits. Mm -hmm. and, and and then not to mention Bob's Bob Gaudio's producing career, how mm -hmm. he's, you know, how he's Neil Sedaka and and, and 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 a whole bunch of other people that he's produced. Barbara Streisand. Barbra Streisand. I mean and the first Grammy that he ever won was for Jersey Boys. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Have you become an expert on Four Seasons uh, trivia? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. <laughs> no, no, Ed, no. Yeah. I, I would say that but I, you know, I, you you, when you've been doing, you know, this for a while, yeah, mm -hmm. of course, it, it sort of osmoses into your brain. Yeah. Well, we have some more Four Seasons. Let's take a look. Ooh. Great songs. I mean, they're just wonderful songs. And and the show involves not only this, what the Four Seasons did, um, but also then some of what Frankie Valli's um, stuff afterwards, isn't it? Sure. He had a couple That's songs right. yeah, some afterwards. That's right. Yeah. Some of his solo. He, a, he still has that solo career. Mm -hmm. Tommy DeVito, you're telling me uh, during the break, uh, lives in Las Vegas? Yeah, he does. He splits his time between Vegas and Jersey. 
He uh -huh. still goes back to Belleville. He's there. I mean, he's got a street named after him. I mean, come on. It's Tommy, <laughs> Tommy DeVito Way, I believe. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, which is pretty cool. In, in Jersey. In Jersey, yeah. <laughs> in not Jersey. in Vegas. He's working on it. Uh -huh. He's working on it. <laughs> and what yeah. does he do? Uh, he produces music still. Uh -huh. um, he still plays. I have a video of him playing from like a year and a half, year and a half ago, him playing acoustic guitar, and it's just fantastic. Um, we were over at a party at his at his niece's house, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the cool thing about about being in this company here and having Tommy live here. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll call me up sometimes, like, "Hey, what are you doing?" You know, and he's, he's just, <laughs> and he's just this great, lovable guy. I uh -huh. mean. You know, knowing Tommy and then knowing the character, and you talked about not judging. I mean, I can't play Tommy now. I play Tommy then, and Tommy right. even has admittedly said, "Yeah, I was a bit of a, you know, I was a bit of a jerk uh -huh. at times." But you know, he did what he had to do to get where he got, and now that he's at where he is, I guess he's a lot better at it. I don't know what the heck am I saying? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Tommy's Tommy's great, and uh, it's such a, a wonderful thing to have him here. In uh, you know in Vegas, and he's, I, I kind of think this is his unofficial company, or you know the yeah. Tommy company. Sweet, yeah. sweet guy. He dropped by the show the other night with his mm. family, and uh, he's telling the stories and everything. Yeah. And I mean, it just um, yeah, he lights up the room. Yeah, and you know, the, the, the thing I've always loved about the Jersey Boys is that it's so uh, genuine in the emotion that it evokes from those of us that are watching it, uh, because it. Is, listening to the songs are you know great energy, great excitement, but then when you listen to the um, the reality of the story, mm. you know, and the honesty, I think there's a lot of honesty in sure. it seems to be anyway in the show, and the disappointment and the uh, the sorrow mm. that and and the waste of you know of a lot of ability and talent that. You know, that really occurred to some of the members of the Four Seasons is just so honest and, and breathtaking. And then it all comes back, and it, it's you're smiling and happy, and you're standing and applauding and dancing. It's it, yeah. it's just an amazing ride. Take you on a ride. journey. We yeah. I, we had some people last night, um, and uh, I actually had a few people last night come up after the show. Uh, I was out meeting some friends and. Um, and they this going to be more than the 30 seconds no story? they basically okay. <laughs> they lived they lived at that time yeah. you know they lived they were teenagers right. at that time and i had these women and these men coming up to me and they were just crying and they were so excited moving dancing i mean and they told me i lived it i lived it i was there yeah. and so that's what's so wonderful about our show yeah and we some of us hate to admit that we were that old Not today you. <laughs> yeah hey jersey boys now at the paris hotel don't miss it it's an incredible incredible show see you next week